Hey guys, it's Dave from TheUnlocker.com. And finally, there is a jailbreak for iOS 8.1.3. I know what you're saying. There is no jailbreak for iOS 8.1.3, and you're absolutely correct. Um, but there is a loophole. Someone on Reddit posted uh, that he found out that a certain jailbreak actually worked on iOS 8.2 beta 2. Now iOS 8.2 beta 5 was just released, so it's a little hard to find beta 2, but I have the links for you if you click below. But essentially what this does is if you update from iOS 8.1.3 to the new beta 2, not beyond that, you'll be able to jailbreak like normal. And since it is a newer version of iOS, iTunes lets you update to it. And without further ado, and enough talking, I'm just gonna show you how to do it. Okay, first we're gonna do a backup. Um, so to do that, we're gonna open iTunes. If you don't have the latest version and it tells you so, you need to download the latest version. So click that and update to the latest iTunes. Once you have the latest version of iTunes, we're going to plug in the phone to our computer. Then when the phone shows up in iTunes, you're gonna click on the little phone icon and be presented with your phone. And the first thing we're gonna do before doing anything else is backing up phone just because it's smart to do. So in this little backup section, I'm going to click backup now and wait for it to back up to the computer. Then, like I said, we're going to be using the 8.2 beta 2 uh, firmware to actually be able to jailbreak. And since it is a higher version than iOS 8.1.3, technically, iTunes will let us update to it as opposed to downgrading to 8.1.2, which was also jailbreakable. So we need to download that firmware. So I've scoured the internet a little bit and I found it for most of the iPhones. Just click on the link here underneath this video on the site and download and save that to your desktop. Okay, so this part, uh, we're going to actually restore the phone using DFU mode. Now you only need to do this part if you're already jailbroken. If you're not jailbroken and you're just coming from stock, then you can skip this step and go to the next section, which is actually flashing the beta. But I am jailbroken. So to remedy that, we're going to turn off the phone while it's plugged in. Wait for it to turn off completely and it disappear in iTunes. When that happens, we're gonna turn it back on by holding down home and power at the same time. And we're gonna keep holding them until the screen turns black again. And we're gonna let go of power and keep holding home until iTunes says it's detected a phone in recovery mode. I'm gonna click OK, and we're gonna click Restore iPhone, and click Restore and Update. Now this will update your iPhone to the latest firmware at the time, that's 8.1.3, which is fine, because we're gonna be able to get around that. But if you're watching this video and 8.2 has come out, um, it will update you to 8.2, which could stop you from jailbreaking. So please just make sure that you know what the latest version is before you do this step. Okay, now that your phone is restored back to 8.1.3, or if you are just unjailbroken and you're on whatever you were on, we're going to flash the beta. So to do that, you're gonna hold Option on your Mac or hold Shift on your Windows computer and click Check for Update. Then a dialog box will show up and you're gonna click on the firmware file that you downloaded from my site earlier and click Open. Then click Update and wait for it to flash. And when it's done, you should now see iOS 8.2 up here, but we're really on iOS 8.2 beta 2. Um, something important to note is the fact that we did this using um, the option or shift for update is what allowed us to update to a beta without having to be a developer. Normally, if you're a developer, you need to register the UDID of your phone uh, in order for you to put betas on it. Since we updated and didn't restore though, we didn't have to do that, but it brings up a key point. If you ever restore this phone in the state that it is, it's going to ask you for the UDID, unless you restore it back to iOS 8.1.3. So just keep that in mind. Now we're gonna actually jailbreak it. So you're gonna wanna download the jailbreak tool for your specific operating system. If you're using Windows, it's Tig, And you can click this link here underneath the video um, to be taken to their site to download from them or click this link if that's not working. Or if you're on a Mac, you're gonna need PP Jailbreak. Yep, they're foreign, that's fine. So you're gonna click on that uh, to download the Jailbreak for Mac. Again, here's the alternate download in case that doesn't work. So I'm using a Mac in this case, I'm gonna click on that, download the tool, and save it to my desktop. Okay, while well, it's downloading, we're gonna do a few things to the phone to set it up for the Jailbreak. So we're gonna go to Settings, then iCloud, and then turn off Find My iPhone. Don't worry, we'll turn it back on once we're done jailbreaking. Then we're gonna go back into settings, touch ID and passcode, enter in your current passcode. 
turn passcode off, enter it in again. And then we're going to pull up from the bottom of the screen to get our control center. We're gonna tap the airplane to put it into airplane mode and we're ready to continue. With the device plugged in, we're going to now jailbreak it. So if you're using Mac, you're gonna be double clicking the ppjailbreak.dmg file. If you're using Windows, you're gonna right click the TIG file and hit run as administrator. I don't wanna put it in my application folder, I'm just gonna double click it, open. Okay, and now once it opens, regardless of which tool you're using, it's pretty much the same thing. There's a giant button in the middle, um, and if there's any check boxes like this one here, uncheck those because they install basically an app store from, you know, it's a Chinese app store that we don't really want. So once it says that write iOS version, iPhone 6, we're gonna click the big button and it's asking if we did already, you're gonna click the button on the right and let it go. After a while, you'll get this screen with a check and your phone will reboot. And when the phone reboots, you should be able to swipe and see Cydia. Now you're gonna pull up on the bottom, turn on your Wi-Fi, or at least turn off airplane mode, open Cydia and let Cydia do its thing. Once that's done, you should be presented with the Cydia store and you're good to go. And there you go, you're jailbroken. You can now uh, you know, check out the Cydia store and install jailbreak tweaks like normal. For a list of jailbreak tweaks that I've uh, kind of found and really liked, head to the link below um, to check out all of that on the site. If you like this video, please thumbs up it or share it. It is greatly appreciated. And if you wanna check out more videos that I do, please subscribe to the channel here or check us out on social networks below. As always, thanks for watching.